I know you guys are having some serious problems, you know, like, like turning Windsor around and stuff. My recommendation to you is um, start walking the streets of downtown Windsor a little more often, and then uh, maybe inspiration will come out of those empty shops and into you and your mind. And Or you can just go on dinners and stuff with, with these rich corporate lobbyists. You do that and just hand the power over to me, okay? I'll just, uh, I'll be a benevolent dictator in your name, and I'll just walk around and say, do this, do that, do this, do that. Just give me a tiny budget and I'll kick some royal ass. I just need you to just be a yes man and just say, okay, no problem. And just go off to your lunches. And leave it all to me, okay? I'll take care of the, the problem with the capital and I'll take care of the, all the vacancies and, and I'll beautify the city so goddamn fast. Just give me some paint and, and uh, an army of teenagers. If you need to call me, you know my number or you know where I live, just drop by. Okay? See you, man. We'll do, we'll, we'll do lunch. Bye. This is the second uh, Delicious Street Gallery show. As always, uh, the odds are against us. Um, I'm, I, I secretly have a few worries. Worry number one is the heat still isn't on. So um, I'm worried about the toilet. I'm worried about the toilet being frozen. If the toilet doesn't work, uh, people won't be able to hang around a long time, drink, and buy artwork. They're going to have to go pee, and that'll be the end of them. So I'll be fucked. So that's one thing I'm worried about. Number two, again, this is classic Christian Aldo. I bit off way the fuck more than I can chew. But in order to hold this show together, I think it's needed. I did this, worked on this very vicious sculpture. It needs a real fucking heavyweight piece. This will be the biggest miracle I've ever pulled off in one night. So uh, we'll see if I can pull it off. Or make an absolute jackass out of myself. The truth is I never wanted to be an artist. I, um... My father would always say, oh, you're going to be an artist, you're going to be an artist. And, um, and as a kid, as a dumb, naive kid, I always thought to be an artist meant you were dumb. So you had to be an artist. Stupid. You know, if there's about five or six galleries in this immediate area, all those empty shops can be turned into like semi-galleries. The spaces are still for rent. But if they can be turned into galleries, then suddenly businesses will be more likely to want to pop up in between or take over that space. That's a really choice looking space right now. It'll still continue looking like a, like a little Windsor Soho. If I can create a market for, for myself and for these guys, then we can continue being artists and not have to get jobs at McDonald's. The truth was I became an artist for an ulterior motive. When I was in high school, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with my life. and. Um, the uh, the girls in the art class, they were the smartest girls in the whole school. They were all like, you know, 90s, like 99 average one of them. Eventually she got a scholarship to Oxford in England. And I, was, I so admired these beautiful, super astute girls that I knew the only way to win their hearts would be to become the best artist in class. <laughs> and so I worked my ass off all year long and I, and I soared right to the top of the class. Adrenaline will play a major factor in the success of making these pieces. Not one of these pieces is finished yet. I have to make 18 awesome little morsels. The only one that's even near completion maybe would be this. That's it. Even that's not even fucking done. Man. I'm fucked. After the World Trade Center bombing, um, what they were doing is they wanted to do a, um, a World Trade Center, uh, they wanted to rebuild the new World Trade Center, so all kinds of architectural firms um, submitted their building designs, their mock-up models, who they were hoping they would get the commission for the new World Trade Center. Well, this is my rejected submission for the new World Trade Center project. They rejected it. I can't figure out why. Look at that. Ones that I'm currently doing, I'm active with, um, uh, the gallery strip. Okay. 
You guys coming to the show tomorrow night? Grab a flyer inside the door. Ask the guy, yell for us, ask someone to give me one. Someone's in there. Working with my brother and John, my brother Marshall Spalson and John uh, Doherty, uh, the TV show Ten Dollar Tales. Marsh? Yeah. You want to come get a close up of my face? House of Horrors, which you know it's seasonal. Yeah, I built the haunted house from scratch. <laughs> I need you to get in your place, man. Okay. This was all draped with all kinds of burlap, and when you went through it, it looked like this this creepy sort of uh, uh, jungle thing, right? All had to be removed. Tragic, but I'm gonna replace it with fire retardant. Actually, to be honest with you, I get crazy rushes. I think it's um, it's pressure that spurs me on when I'm under pressure or the fear. Fear or pressure really makes me uh, really achieve certain things. <laughs>